Chagas disease. After a long day at work, you're finally home and ready to hit your pillow. But for some reason, you keep hearing this buzzing sound of a bug or fly in your room. Now, if you live in South and Central Mexico, chances are the buzzing sound you're hearing is coming from a bug popularly known as the kissing bug. Pretty weird name, but very fitting if you consider that the bug literally only bites you in the face. And as a thanks for the blood buffet on your face, the kissing bug would also poop on you. If you accidentally scratch the itch from the bug bite and spread the poop all over your face, then you've just RSVP'd to the parasite's bloodstream bash. This is because the poop left behind by your dinner guest actually contains the parasite carrying the chaos's disease, and with your help, it has successfully entered your body through your nostrils, mouth, and eyes. Once the parasite gets cozy in your bloodstream, it's time to buckle up for the ride of your life. Picture this, violent convulsions, swollen lymph nodes, and body aches that make you feel like you've been hit by a truckload of anvils. It's like getting invited to the worst party ever, except it's inside your body. If this dreadful internal party is not shut down fast with some heavy-duty antiparasitic treatments, you're in for some seriously long-term party favors. We're talking about heart problems, a throat that's swollen to the size of a Thanksgiving turkey, and nerve damage that'll make having migraines daily sound like a walk in the park. These are definitely not the kind of party favors you want to take home, but unfortunately, it's a reality for as many as 11 million folks dealing with this disease. Nodding syndrome. Well, you'd agree that this particular sickness definitely sounds like what happens in math class after binge-watching your favorite series on Netflix the whole night, but unfortunately, the reality is way worse. So picture this, you're just chilling outside, minding your own business, when your head suddenly starts doing the nodding dance like it's auditioning for a hip-hop music video, but you're not in control. One minute you feel absolutely fine, and the next you're literally a human bobblehead bobbing and weaving like one of those wacky, wavy, inflatable tube men you see at a used car lot. This syndrome mainly affects children in Uganda, making them look like they actually agree with everything. The constant, relentless head bobbing leads to seizures, mental impairments, and loss of muscle coordination, and over time the affected children would be permanently brain damaged, while some may go on to have disabilities like stunted growth and mental difficulties. Marburg virus disease. At the height of the Ebola pandemic, almost everyone in the world was paranoid because of the terrifying nature of the outbreak. A disease that can make victims bleed from every hole in their body and cause unbearable pain was all the news could talk about. Now just imagine another virus with similar symptoms and just as dangerous. That's what the Marburg virus is. Let's say you're exploring the caves in Angola and you mistakenly hit your toe on a stone and get cut. You brush the injury off because it's not that painful and just continue your cave adventure. But in one of the caves, you step on the poop of a fruit bat and it gets all over your fresh toe wound. You've probably just won a one-way ticket to Marburg Virus Town. Fast forward a few days and you'll start to feel like you were just tortured brutally with a metal bar. Headaches? Check. Fatigue? Double check. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, here comes the extreme diarrhea and vomiting that'll turn your stomach into a war zone. Over time, you'll literally start bleeding from places you didn't even know you could bleed. Eyes, ears, mouth, you name it. It's like a horror movie, but with way less popcorn and way more panic. You see, this horrific disease is extremely contagious, and with no cure or vaccine, it can be spread to other people through direct contact with your infected body bodily fluids, and one out of every ten people who get the virus die. So if you were to contract this Marburg disease, unfortunately, the only thing you can do is make yourself comfortable and wait for the inevitable. Maybe just stick to watching evaluator videos instead of cave hunting next time. Mal de la Rosa. So, it's another day living in a quiet rural part of Mexico, tending to your crops and milking your goats, when you notice these wart-like growths just popping out all over your arm. On a closer look, you notice that the warts actually look like a rose petal. However, for some reason, you ignore the weird-looking plants and just carry on with your milking. Well, in one week's time, you'll realize that was a very wrong thing to do, because the warts are now spreading and appearing all over your body, faster than gossip at a family reunion. Soon your eyes, nose, back, and legs are covered with these cursed flowers. It's like Mother Nature decided to prank you with the world's creepiest garden makeover. Unfortunately, you've just contracted the Mal de la Rosa 
diagnose a sickness which is caused by a tiny fungus inside the soil, and they only need a tiny cut or scrape to get into your body. Simple things like bathing, lying down, or even sitting down would feel like your body is being boiled in a pot of hot oil filled with thorns. The mal de la rosa is so damaging to the body that even if you were to survive it by some miracle, it would leave physical scars on you that would make everyone think you were an acid survivor. Mikado Joseph disease. If you live on the island communities of the Azores and Portugal, you'd probably be one of the families that has been cursed with a genetic disease that causes the protein in your body to attack and kill your brain cells. You see, the body is like a complex robot that moves in various ways, but it relies on your brain to send instructions. Now, for people with Mikado Joseph disease, there's a tiny misspelling in the instruction book that tells the brain how to control your body's movements. It's just a little mistake, but over time, that misspelling makes the brain's instructions increasingly jumbled and unclear. The first symptom of MJD would make walking very, very difficult. Walking becomes hard like you've been on a dizzy spin ride for hours. Soon enough, the infection would start to eat through your muscles and bones, making you look like an extremely skinny, wet rag doll. But the torture doesn't stop here. The symptoms would worsen yearly, and faulty gene instructions would soon affect every part of your brain. Eventually, MJD would paralyze your facial muscles, giving you the perfect poker face. You won't be able to move your eyes, sneeze, talk, or even swallow food. It would basically press the pause button on all your bodily movements, and you'll start to lose touch with reality and forget everything you've ever known. Latherism. So it's been one full year since you decided to go vegan, and you just got reassigned to work for one month in an indigenous village in India. As you get to the village, you realize they don't have a lot of vegan options in the area, so you stock up with some nutritious legumes packed with enough protein and some grass peas. And so, for the next one month, the only thing you eat are the grass peas, legumes, and water. Well, big mistake. You see, those grass peas you've been dining on for the past two weeks contain a toxic chemical called ODAP, which causes a sickness called latherism. Latherism works by destroying every single bone in your body. The poison released from the green peas would practically cripple your entire nervous system and would make your muscles harden. We're talking about severe paralysis that would make your legs and whole body feel like wet noodles, leaving you flopping around like a fish out of water. Definitely not fun. Out of the 10,000 people who contract these diseases, 75 die yearly as a result of latherism. Some people would also get bonus insanity points with spasms, uncontrollable tremors, and even vivid hallucinations where they battle imaginary evil pea creatures. Well, if you think you're perfectly normal and safe from strange diseases, think again! Join our Discord channel now to discover all the weird stuff you might be plagued with and how to avoid becoming a human noodle. Kaposi's sarcoma. Now, imagine your body is a beautiful, clean, spotless wall with everything well-placed in an order. However, a graffiti artist known as Kaposi sarcoma comes along uninvited without any permit. Once it enters, the uninvited artist would literally start to spray paint purple, pink, and brown lesions on your face, arms, legs, genitals, and inside your mouth. If you don't get the virus out fast, it will get into your organs and start to tag your digestive tract and lungs. This virus, called human herpes virus 8, HHV8, is spread during sex, through saliva, or from a mother to her baby during birth. The scariest part of this virus virus is that once you contract this virus, there is no cure, so you have to live with it for the rest of your life. However, if you eat well, work out, and take your supplements and vitamins regularly, then your immune system might be strong enough to hold the symptoms back and you might live without any issues. But if your immune system is weak, the weird looking lesions would start to pop out all over your body. After this, raised clustered bumps would start to disfigure your face, legs, arms, and genitals. It's not exactly the body art you'll want to show off. While primarily found in sub-Saharan Africa, Kaposi sarcoma's cases have occurred in Eastern Europe and the U.S. It is estimated that around 1 in 200 people worldwide may be infected with HHV-8. So if you think your body is safe from unexpected makeovers, think again. Kuru. It's 1950, and you live in a village in Papua New Guinea where your village chief has just passed away. The whole tribe is mourning, but as a way to honor her, everybody must eat a part of her brain and body. Yep, you heard that right. Because you know, just burying her with a nice coffin and flowers isn't considered respectful enough. Well, a couple years after partaking in the brain and corpse farewell dish, you start to notice that you're having serious trouble walking, and your speech has started to sound like someone tied your tongue together. This is because 
snail shells and handmade beads are not the only things you've inherited. You've got something much more sinister, a disease called Kuru. Unfortunately, your village chief had a special kind of protein called prion in her brain that has slowly been eating away her brain cells for years, like how a termite chips away at the wood. Now, as the Kuru enters your bloodstream, it also starts to chip away at your brain cells, and after a few years, the condition progresses and travels to your central nervous system. You wouldn't be able to eat, drink, or even talk. Your body will continuously shake uncontrollably, and soon after, you'll begin to forget everything and everyone you've ever known. After you die, another set of tribesmen would basically eat your infected brain again, and the whole crazy cycle of death would just start all over again. The cycle continues as more people partake in this grim tradition. It's like the worst dinner party ever. Noma. If you were, unfortunately, a malnourished child living in certain parts of Africa with your family, you could go days without any food, which would make your body very frail and weak. One day, you develop this tiny blister inside your mouth, probably from biting your cheeks or chewing on something hard. Now, a mouth sore shouldn't be too severe, but because your body is so malnourished, it couldn't fight off the infection that started growing around the blister. Soon enough, the infection would literally cause a spreading ulcer to form on the inside of your cheek, and over time, the wound would just keep getting bigger and bigger. It would make eating, drinking, and talking a very painful experience for you, but it still doesn't stop there. The little bugger would go into a zombie mood, literally eating through your lips, cheek, nose, and jaw. The effect of this would look like huge gaping wounds and disgusting mouth deformities. A perfect face for haunting other small children and even adults during Halloween. After a while, your cheek would become swollen, discolored, and covered in scabs and sores with a foul-smelling odor, and by now it has fully developed into the devastating condition called Noma, derived from a Greek word meaning devour. It is a very appropriate name because that is what it does to children's faces. While surgery to remove the infected skin and antibiotics to fight the infection, and a balanced diet to provide adequate nutrients can stop Noma's progression if caught early, many children sadly die from the bleeding, infection, and separating jaws. Those who survive are left severely disfigured, often needing extensive reconstructive face surgery. Yaws. Nope, this isn't a condition that makes you yawn uncontrollably, even though that would honestly be a better option if you get to know what yaws actually does to the body. Yaws is a chronic skin infection that is basically like the ugly cousin of syphilis, but much grosser. It is caused by the same bacteria that causes syphilis, but unlike syphilis, it is not gotten through sexual intercourse, but spreads through contact with broken skin. If you contract yaws, the first stage appears as a tiny cyst on your legs or feet, and this first one is usually known as the mother yaw. This cyst might develop into a pus-filled ulcer, but would normally dry out and disappear on its own after a while. Oops! You wish it stopped there, however, the secondary symptom would start by the next month, and this time those innocent little bumps have hit puberty and become their rebellious teenage selves. They would start aggressively attacking your bones, cartilage, and muscles. At this stage, the yaws would look like large wart-like ulcers popping up everywhere. We're talking about hideously disfiguring facial bone deformities that could give you nightmares. Your nose might even start crumbling away. It's like your face decided to join a horror movie without your permission. While antibiotics can provide a cure for people with yaws, you might still need to perform cosmetic surgery because the drugs wouldn't be able to fix any extensive skin damage. So think of it as a nasty skin infection that doesn't just ruin your looks, but also leaves you needing a makeover that even a fairy godmother would find challenging. 